Welcome to this Topo flight tutorial. This demo shows how flight plan can automatically be done using Topo Flight Mission Planner. The basic background information for creating the flight plan is a SRTM digital terrain model and in Google Maps Orthophoto both downloaded directly in Topo Flight Mission Planner. Click Select Active Sensor in the menu bar and choose the definition of your sensor. Select and close the window. On the right, load a DXF file containing the right area of interest. Then click Select a Shape as Active Area in the menu bar and set the overshoot at the border to two images. Start drawing flight lines by clicking Construct Line. Set round height to the next 1000 feet. Then draw the first flight line. Click, Add Lines, in the menu bar, select, fill whole selected shape with flight lines, and control that, round height, is set on. Topo Flight automatically calculates the flight lines for the whole area of interest. Deselect the active area for manual correction. Click Modify Lines in the menu bar for editing. Control the settings for GSD, Overlaps, Hide and Azimuth. You can extend or shorten the flight lines by clicking and dragging on them. Add an additional flight line by clicking Add Lines, set the count of lines in the settings on the right, then click on the flight line next to the new one. Now you can shorten it by choosing Modify Line and dragging its end point. Finally click Renumber and tag flight lines in the menu bar, set the first number and draw a touching line. All lines will be renumbered automatically. Turn off the layer line labels when not needed. For placing GCP points, select Place GC Point by mouse click in the menu bar and click on the preferred positions on the map. If you need to move GCP points, select Move GCP in the menu bar, first click on the point you want to move, then click on the preferred position. Generate a GSD color map by clicking Create Color Map in the menu bar. Select values and colors in the settings window for each layer. Set the resolution for the map and give the layer a name.
Finally click Draw Map. In the layer settings you are able to give transparency to the layer. Now that the flight plan is finished, you can export it as a KML file for Google Earth. Select Export to Graphics, Google Earth in the menu. Check the settings and click Export. Google Earth opens automatically and shows the flight plan in 3D. By dragging and zooming you can generate different views of the project. You can see the coverage of the flight lines, the overlaps, the image numbers and the GCP points. This is how a flight plan can be automatically generated in top of flight mission planner.